Now, if they are, uh, if they get here, they will get to work. They will start to try to lose weight because they now they are motivated. They have crossed the barrier, not the barrier of how much they would like to wait, but the limit. Now I have to get to work. So they will go back. They will go back. They will go back until they get to a point where they have another limiter they have. And that's the limit of, well, I should really work out more, but quite frankly, uh, I did a lot of work. I deserve some time off. I deserve to have that cake. I mean, it looks so nice and it was such a hard week. I deserve it. I really do. It's not much. But obviously, one cake, then one deep fried Mars bar, then one cronut, and day after day, suddenly they start to go back to the 200. So they've gotten back to 170, and now they are letting themselves go back, go back, go back, until they go above 200 and start the process again and again. So. A big part of your dieting is about those mental rules in your head. When you pass this point and you let yourself relax. And we have a lot of those points in our head, a lot of those limits in our head. What's worse, they tend to move. So after some time, the limit when you you will be so adjusted to being over 200 that it won't really move you because you've been there once twice three times so now you need to be 220 in order to try to change something with your life then 240 and so the process will in many cases go on until you decide to change it yourself so weight is one example of such limit Another, and I experienced it a lot with uh, freelancer, with business owners, with people who are um, self-employed, is the limit of how much money you have on your account, or otherwise how much money you are getting in your monthly uh, cash flow, which makes you actually give a damn about your business, actually care about your business. So again, let's say, unless you have, shall we say, 50,000 dollars on your account, then you will try to concentrate on your business. But once you go beyond this, you might start going, uh, I don't really need to answer this email today. I mean, I probably should, but nothing will happen if I answer it tomorrow, then tomorrow, then tomorrow, and then it turns out that you haven't replied to a client who was writing to you for the past two months, and they've not only gone to other uh, your competition, they have actually said a lot of bad things about you, which they were perfectly justified to, because they wanted to give you money, but you really couldn't be bothered because you had enough money on your account. Now, there will also be another limiter. So uh, at this point, you will, won't be earning much money. So, so at some point, you will go beyond a, a different limit, let's say 30,000. And that's the point where most people start to get to work. Now they have the time to write 20 offers to different clients. Now they are calling. Now they are trying to do everything they can. Now they are really into it and are trying to contact as many clients as possible. And I've seen this all across in every business I've worked with. Um, yeah, especially in the small business area where it's more dependent on you, well, what you are doing is depending more than most on you. So photographers, actors, um, arts people, arts and crafts people, uh, trainers, coaches, anyone uh, who is uh, programmists, website designers, anyone who is at least partially dependent on getting clients on their own tends to go through this cycle. Now, in some cases, there's also a different limit, and if you're lucky, this different limit is over here and not over here. Now, this third limit, shall we say 10k, is where you panic. 
It's why you panic when you are... I need to get money. I need to get money. I, I'll be broke soon. I need to get, get some money. I, I don't know what to do. And if you're lucky, it happens here. So you usually will get money because you will start to earn money here. But I have had clients where this is the... I don't need to work anymore. This is the panic. And this is I need to get to work. So first they panic, they panic, they panic, they panic, then they get to work. <laughs>